After almost a decade of studies and proposals, today the Air Force announced it's found a replacement plane for Fairchild's aging air tankers. Pentagon officials uh, say Boeing's bid was beat out by an offer from Northrop Grumman. KXY4's Jeff Humphrey at Fairchild tonight with the details on the new KC-45. The KC-45A, as it's called, Dave, is a specially modified passenger jet. In fact, if you've flown on an Airbus 330 before, that's Fairchild's new air tanker, minus some special changes that'll be done for the Air Force. Instead of four engines like you see on the old KC-135-35, the new tanker has just two, but can carry 25% more fuel than the old planes. Because of its Airbus size, the top deck of the KC-45 also doubles as a passenger or cargo carrier that rivals the heavy lifting capability of the C-17. In perhaps the most noticeable change, the boom at the rear of the 45 is operated by remote control and surveillance cameras. Boom operators will no longer be lying on their bellies and guiding in receivers face to face. The KC-45 also has drogue baskets in its wingtips so it can refuel NAVO and NATO aircraft in simultaneous hookups. Countries like Australia and Saudi Arabia have already placed their orders for the new tanker. Fairchild officials say they're faced with a fleet of 50-year-old existing KC-45s and they're very excited about this deal moving forward. Anything that's 50 years old just it's, it's harder to maintain. And getting a new tanker is going to bring increased combat capability to the warfighter. And anything that we can do to bring this global war on terror to a successful close sooner is great news. Now, the Air Force doesn't expect delivery of these new tankers until 2013, and there has not been a decision made about whether or not Fairchild will actually get the new planes, and that's why they're working very hard to take care of the aircraft that they have. We'll show you how they do it coming up tonight, KXLY 4 at 6. Reporting live at Fairchild, Jeff Humphrey, KXLY 4.